WCHS. I'm, I'm James, and this is, um, Brenna? Hmm? Oh, sorry. I hadn't noticed we had even started. I was so zoned into this yearbook, I wasn't even paying attention. That happens to me when we get the prop print each month. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. Every issue is so good, I bet a lot of hard work goes into them. Here with all your print school print info for you is Cody Dayton. Wow, so many memories and information. But who are the people behind the pages? Has the paw print always been carried by the Freeman Journal? The paw print has been carried by the Freeman Journal for the past 16 years as the paw print. Before that, it was called the school's journal. How long have you been working in journalism? Uh, for journalism, I've been working for 13 years. I've been the yearbook advisor for 13 years and the newspaper advisor for 11 years. And I also teach introduction to mass media, which I've been doing for 11 years. The yearbook, a great tool for recovering memories of schoolmates past. But who's the bearer of these memories, of this knowledge base? Let's find them. What is the process you go through when choosing pictures for the yearbook? Well, first of all, we make a ladder, and that just says what exactly is going to be in the yearbook. And then we make templates, and then we take pictures according to what we're going to cover. And then once we have the pictures, we pick the best ones. Are ideas submitted to you through students? Um, usually it's just the students in the class that we usually sit down and figure out ideas together. How long does the yearbook take to be edited and ready for distribution? Um, it takes a full year, but we have deadlines, eight deadlines a year, and then we send, we edit them in class, and then Ms. Anderag edits them, and then we send them into the plant, and then we get proofs back, which we edit again, and then once they're finally edited, we um, send them back into the plant. And let us not forget about the paw print, the monthly news source for the happenings going on around the school and the community. What's your advice for potential newspaper reporters? Um, I would say that you need to be able to step outside of your comfort zone and be able to manage your time and stress that comes with doing so much. How much of your staff is made up of freelance writers? Um, well, first semester, uh, five out of our seven staff members were freelancers. There were only two of us in the class. This year it's split evenly. There are five in the class and five freelancers. Looking at the pages of both publications really makes you appreciate all the hard work that goes into it. Thanks for the great work and congratulations on a long history of distributions and publications. Thanks, Cody. And I was right. Everyone in those classes really puts a lot of effort forward. No kidding. We owe a lot of thanks to them for giving us a yearbook and a newspaper. We're pretty lucky. Hey, James, look at this. I'm still glancing through last year's yearbook, and I found the show choir spread. It's definitely one of the best in the whole book. Yeah, that's because our show choir here is one of the best. Here's Cherry Rusa catching up with all the early morning practices, songs, and dance routines. Show choir. Every year, the students of WCHS put down the pencils and pick up their feet. This year, Mr. Hessen has taken on the responsibility of not only directing it, but also choreographing it. Let's jazz step on over and see what he has to say. What songs are being performed this year? Uh, this year we'll be actually doing a tribute to American Legends, and we are opening the show with Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Diana Ross. Uh, then we're switching to a tribute to 9-11 uh, by Alan Jackson called Where Were You When the World Stopped Turning. And then we'll be finishing up the set uh, with the legendary Johnny Cash uh, and I've Been Everywhere. Something that you may not realize, that it's not just the singing and dancing that is part of show choir. You also need the music behind the vocals. This year, Brandon Carlson is keeping the beat with the percussion, Josh Sizer is beating the bass, and Carrie Ullman is playing the piano. What's a challenge you have when playing the music? I get cold really easy, so my fingers don't always go where I want them to. And how long have you been playing the piano? I've played the piano since I was about six years old, so ten years now. Now that we know what songs are being performed and who the accompanists are, you can't have a show choir without someone to sing and dance. This year the show choir has around 30 members, some new and some old. How many years have you been in show choir? I've been in show choir for three years. This is my first year in show choir. This is my first year of show choir. What's your favorite part of show choir? I enjoy waking up every morning to be here at 7 o'clock and dance with Jared Kendrick Doolittle. My favorite part of show choir is waking up to be at the school at 7 o'clock to dance and sing with 30 of my closest friends. I enjoy working with Mr. Heston. 
The show choir will be performing on Monday, January 31st in Belmont. This has been Trey Russa reporting for WCTV, and I've got to get to practice. Gosh, watching the show choir bust move makes me want to dance myself. You and your dancing, Brenna. What can I say? I'm still living up this year's Winterfest dance, I guess. Didn't you see me shaking my tail feather out there? Yeah, the dance sure was fun, and so was the rest of the week. Winterfest here at WCHS was a sure hit this year. Let's get all the hocus pocus that went down this last week from Taylor Kessner. Winterfest, a magical night full of pictures and dancing. The ladies get a chance to dress up and do their hair, makeup, and nails. And the guys get to accompany these lovely ladies. WCHS students got to hang out here at the high school gym from 9 to midnight at the Winterfest dance. But the dance isn't the only thing that makes Winterfest so great. What is your favorite part about Winterfest? My favorite part about Winterfest is getting ready with all my friends and making my date pay a whole bunch of money on expensive restaurants. I have to say my favorite part about Winterfest is being able to dress up and have fun with my friends. Getting ready with my friends for the dance. Why do you choose to participate in Winterfest activities? Because I'm a cheerleader! <laughs> I chose to participate in Winterfest activities because it's just fun and I get to show my personality. I'm to show Link's Moon Spirit. Many students enjoy participating in dress-up days that the cheerleaders come up with based on a chosen theme. Other students enjoy watching Coronation. The student council thinks of a theme at least three weeks in advance and then decorates the stage a couple days before coronation. The student council is also in charge of finding the MCs and the acts. Here is Natalie DePunta sharing what she thought about performing for coronation. How did it feel performing for coronation? Um, Lisa and I were a little nervous before we went on stage, but um, it got better. We just kind of laughed our nerves off, but it was still fun. How did you choose what to perform? Um, Lisa was planning on doing it after coronation and asked me to do it with her. So we decided on Drops of Jupiter by Train because we both really like the song. A lot of hard work and thought goes into planning Winterfest. Congratulations to Cody Mosbach and Sawyer Gorley for becoming Winterfest King and Queen. And thank you to everyone who helped Winterfest run smoothly. But, sadly, Winterfest activities have come to an end and everyone has fallen back into their regular routine. I'm Taylor Kessner and I'm going to try finding some of that leftover Winterfest magic. Thanks, Taylor. It's great to see how much fun everyone had. We're almost out of time, so we'll hit you up with some announcements and head out. Congratulations to the wrestling team for winning conference. This is the first time in 19 years that we've taken the title. You made us proud, guys, and good luck this weekend. We'd also like to wish luck to the basketball teams as they compete against the Eagle Grove Eagles away tomorrow night. The girls' game begins at 6.15 and the boys will follow. Don't, don't forget to early out tomorrow, and there's no school tomorrow. Enjoy your three-day weekend. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Becca. Mr. Hessen, that's very impressive. Well, I just learned a lot. I'm going to try some, some of that stuff. I'm an actual freak. I'm a pretty freaking, yeah. I'm actually a freak. Murph's gonna. Murph's gonna. Murph's gonna.